right the crap out of the other couple of those two. <laughs> How close were you? Really close. Oh. It's a little soft. Oh, I think uh, I think we might be done for the day. <laughs> Look at that. Too much snow. Yeah, I skied 30 centimeters yesterday. They all wanted to hit drops, so I took them off one drop I used to hit all the time. And I like look up and they're all tomahawking. One of the girls lost both their poles, so I gave her my poles. She was like crying in the lift fly. It was awesome. And then all the other kids, like the jealousy was funny. So are the other guys doing some free runs or are we? When I go into a week, definitely the target is downhill. Uh, Super G just takes a, com a, diff a little bit different look where it's much more about just really committing to your plan, committing to your skiing and being able to just let go and push. For me, that was kind of what I was struggling with up until World Champs. I was always fast, I was always contending, but every single Super G up to World Champs, I couldn't really get it to the bottom. It was really just figuring out why that was happening. And as soon as I did, I was able to compete with those guys. What I try to do on every any given day is I want to put down a run that could win the race. You want to be on another down the line? I've been on all of them, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Another one. I honestly, after World Champs, I crashed so hard. Yeah. I like got home and for eight days straight, I just like died. lied in my bed, maybe went for a walk. Well, you should probably get a place. Nah. No. One more year. <laughs> you and Ryan, dude, are the cheapest people I've ever met. One more year on the out of the bag and I'm good. Saving her up, dude. <laughs> As a kid, I just always would try to be the fastest. I'd never really had a thought for consequence. I would push out of the gate and I'd just try to go fast. I didn't make any other plans. I never really considered going to school. I never considered like what it would be like to do something else. And so it just was kind of like, if this doesn't work out, then I got to rethink everything. Yeah, it's working so far. Everybody's going to come here. Yeah. Everybody. The difference is how clean you are. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Sweet. So as clean as possible. Sounds good. Okay. Got hot. Hot out right now. It's like minus seven for a high today. At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. Good? Is this already scratched? I never use different lens. Mm. <sighs> to be a speed racer, it takes a little bit different mentality. There aren't as many guys that have that switch to push themselves to the limit at the high speed. Oh, I'm nervous for this run today. I'm not like a, not like a, I'm racing nervous, like a, like a little bit of fear action coming. I don't know, I'm just un, uncertain with speeds. That always gets me. If I don't know how fast I'm gonna be going, it always is a little scary. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom one more time. A little bit of drain, and then and then uh, it all runs really good according to plan. Okay, let's go. Five, four, three. The hardest part in finding confidence is being able to have it when you should, because when things are going poorly, there comes a point where I kind of just say, screw it. It definitely is, is horrible getting to that place because to get to that place means a lot of bad results prior, but uh, it's just, it's literally finding confidence out of nowhere. 
I made a really big mistake through Serge's section. I almost missed. I almost missed a couple of gates. The skis were just a touch too sharp today. I thought I was gonna friggin' hook up into a wall out there. Yeah, ten aside, so it's twenty. This part here. I just went way too far out. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what I. Yeah, that's where you want to end up. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, it's just, you know, my job to make sure you get it. Watch, because I'm not supposed to have it, but I have it on yeah, Chris Meyer. What's up, my video. So you know Look how it, wide it comes out. Kildee is a little yeah. bit more like this, but. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. Like, honestly, the skiing today, watching it, it looks. Good. There's just a lot of like minor errors when in line that cost a I, I will ton of time. Okay, I gotta go. I messed up. Like, didn't just make a little mistake. Yeah, you. Yeah. I actually messed up three turns, and I think in those three turns, there's at least a second and a half that I lost. A few tactical mistakes. What'd you learn? It's not always what it feels like. This, this stuff, it's not my favorite. Were you fast today? No. I was like drifting around like yeah. I was fast in the pitch though. Okay. Did you push out of the gate today or no? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I was really slow. <laughs> How much golf do you play? Any golf? Any golfer? You are. I'm too competitive, so I like. Okay, day. Baby. Yeah. I was gonna give it to the kid, and then I was like, I can't want That's that. When I push out of the start gate, I just know that if I ski with full commitment, it's just safer. As a young racer coming up onto the World Cup, that's a really hard thing to figure out because it is scary and it is in your face. And figure out that being in the driver's seat and really trying to push is actually easier is something that's very, very difficult to do. That's like the most unlucky I've been with there was definitely wind when I went, but not nearly it. <laughs> like, I was in the gate after Creekmire, yeah. and I was like ready to go, and I could feel it. I was like, okay, let me out of this gate. And then they did the five minute hole. And then, like, over the five minutes, I, it was just like. I look, watching your video at the top, I. The <laughs> and down here as well. Yeah, the yeah. whole way. It's not just on the top. No, it's the whole way. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has gotten in the way of a safety, uh, safe race, and the race has been cancelled. Uh, we're very sorry to let you know that uh, we're unable uh, to post a safe race. To be a contender in every single race, then I won't just be a guy that's being watched every now and again, but I'll be a guy who's being watched every time I leave a start gate, and to me that that's really cool. I would say like getting in the fastest car you've ever been in and just having full control. If I'm skiing the way I know I can and I'm executing, that's that's kind of what it feels like. Like I'm at the top speed, I'm going as fast as I can and, and it kind of feels like nothing can go wrong. So. For me, just being on the podium, that's a good day's work. That means I've put down a run that's good enough to win. So I'm just happy, uh, I'm happy with the performance. I probably should find myself a place to live. That'd be nice. I love how I'm the guy trying to get myself. I don't like that. Oh, God, he's kicking an eye. Kick another ski.